I feel like this flood in Texas um, is going to bring about something in the water. It's going to make it undrinkable. And he just said right now, cancer. He said, cancer cells in the water. I see lemon, city, like, and he's saying drink lemon water. City, it, T-I, it'll purify your body. He said, detoxify, detoxification will take place shortly. He said, purify your souls in me. A cleansing, a cleansing is happening in the spirit that will be considered outwardly. City, I am a Messiah. That people will see. And he's just saying, rest in my, uh, what? Rest in my peace and my glory. Also, it was like peace slash faith. Say, here, it's the I am Messiah. Cancer molecules will happen soon in more than one way. Growing concerns about the water quality in the village of Hempstead. All right, local officials say it's contaminated with a likely cancer-causing chemical. Fox Eyes Jody Goldberg takes a closer look. The water plant in the village of Hempstead is more than a century old. Its wells, according to officials, have high levels of a probable cancer-causing agent known as 1,4-dioxane. There are also traces of PFAS, commonly called forever chemicals because they're hard to get rid of. We do not want to panic our residents but we want them informed. Scientists say the chemicals seeped into the groundwater by commercial and industrial sources over time. Now they're present in all of the village's nine wells. This is urgently needed technology, and we also know that financial aid is reasonable for them to request. The village already drafted plans to replace the old water treatment plant in order to provide cleaner water to tens of thousands of its residents. They're hoping the federal and state government will reimburse the cost of the more than 50 million dollar project. The governor's office says for their part, they've given Long Island $700 million for clean water, including $72 million for the town of Hempstead. But the town says that was for specific grant projects. If the state and federal government assist us, then that cost or burden won't be as much on our taxpayers. Now the problem, according to officials, is the village only has this one main plant, and in order to install new equipment, it would have to be shut down altogether, and that's nearly impossible, with no water being provided to the village at all. The first phase will be everything we can do without disrupting the existing capacity the plant to operate. Other towns and villages across Long Island have already updated their facilities. While some residents in the village of Hempstead still drink the tap water. Me and my family, we drink that water all the time. Others say they're waiting for the new treatment facility. If I know it's clean, then I'll drink it. Officials say the plan is to break ground by the fall. The project is expected to take two to five years, and the hope is for the village to be in compliance with the Board of Health standards before for that. In Hempstead, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News. Cancer molecules will happen soon in more than one way. So the Lord said cancer molecules will happen soon in more than one way. And he was showing me Texas and he said uh, not to drink the water because of cancer being in the water uh, due to the floods. But he also was telling us cancer and in the wind and cancer in a number of ways and not to drink the water uh, and formaldehyde. So this is a warning. We see it happening here. Hempstead is in New York. Do not drink the water if you live in Texas. Do not drink the water if you live in New York. Do not drink the water, period, out of the faucet. And I wouldn't even drink Poland Spring water because I told you guys that dream I had about graphene oxide being in it. So uh, pray over your waters, break enchantment and spells off of them and ask the Lord which water you shall be drinking. All right. God bless you.